Man. Yes, sir. March 1st, we here. Not the 15th, but the first this time. <laughs> Welcome to the Freedom Cage Podcast, where we lock into a free state of mind each and every pay week. Uh, on all DSPs, of course, you know, uh, your Spotify's, your Googles, your SoundClouds, your YouTube, Everything. Everything you need to be <laughs> on. Uh, I got my main guy, my ace, my left and my right this week, Sean, better known as Mr. Senor Lee and all your socials to my right. You know. And me, I'm Kenny, better known as Ken Katnick on all those socials. But today, it's, it's, a, it's a good day. Because some great news early in the week, you know, uh, after the last show. Oh, yeah? I felt, start to feel the symptoms. Mm. Went to the doctor to make sure I was, you know, symptom free. And unfortunately, I was symptom with, let me know I had the vid. I was like, fuck, they got me. You know I'm what I'm saying? i say, where my mask at? Uh, word, word. It was nasty. It was nasty out here. It was nasty out here. Mm. But, uh, you know, had to go through a tough, uh, good six, seven days inside. Retested, caught the negative. Got the, you know, got the... Got the rapid back, man. Right, got the, got right. the other joint. You know what I mean? The sensitive one. Got that back. So now, you know, I'm COVID free. Okay. Taking in fresh air like I never had before. Great news, man. Oh, Great man. news. Uh, but yeah, I'm back, man. Like I never left. Good. <laughs> that how is you, great. How you doing, man? How's your past couple of weeks? Oh, the last couple of weeks were great, man. Um, like we talked about last episode, it's Black History Month, so yes, yes. Um, did a lot of great sessions. Uh, had a director from Lehman College actually come nice. speak to the staff and talk about leadership. So, I mean, the beginning of February, everybody I talked to, I said, yo, February is gone. Start planning for March because February is <laughs> going to fly by, and that's exactly what happened. But everybody's healthy. Glad you're healthy. Yes, yes. And here we are, man. Episode 10. Episode 10. <laughs> got, nine, got nine in the tuck. You know what I mean? Went by, yeah. pretty, quick. Went by pretty quick. Not oh, mad yeah. at it, though. Yeah. Episode 10. Indeed. Well, let's get right into it because last episode, we talked about Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we dropped that on side boot day though. <laughs> we you did, we did, we did. You know what I'm saying? But uh hopefully and nobody got shot, so it's always a good thing, you know. <laughs> Everybody made it through another one. Mm-hmm. Um, how was your Valentine's Day? Uh did you overperform or underperform? I think I did good. Okay. You know, from her reaction, uh, I got her some blue flowers. She's in love with blue. Oh, okay. So okay. I got her some blue roses. Pay attention to the details. You know it, man. And then um ordered her favorite food on Sunday. She came home. We pigged out, we drank, you know, I, me, I'm Mr. Regiment, right? I drink Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm done, like, mm-hmm, back mm-hmm. to the um, routine, but I broke it just for her. You know what I mean? It's, you know it's all, for the, all yeah, for the love. Yeah, yeah, and I really just can't wait until outside opens back up, because I know she's dying to go somewhere, and I'm just trying to be safe right now. You know, she's exactly. out there working, I'm out there working, so... Right now, going to a restaurant really ain't number one not, on my list. Not the, yeah, it's not the it's not the one or the two. You know what you know I'm what saying? So, gotta stay safe. Yeah. How was yours? Uh, unfortunately, no. COVID hit the, almost like the day of, the Damn, day before. Yeah, that's so, right. That's right. I mean, wifey understood though. She's like, "Hey, man, just get better. We can always, hey, you're gonna be with me for life. So yeah, get better. We'll talk about it next week. You know what I mean? So and she, you usually get the double whammy around this. Yeah, time. Yeah, her birthday's two days after. So <laughs> I was looking at her two days after, like, "Hey, babe, um, can I use that Valentine's COVID pass that I yeah. used?" So she's like, "Listen here, nigga, ain't gonna be too many of these. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? The IOUs on these events. You know what I'm saying?" Yeah, you know, that yeah. Christmas wasn't too long ago, so now ain't really too many more events without, other than Mother's Day. You know that's what I'm right. saying? So, that's you know right. I mean? But uh, I got to take care of this week for sure. Yeah. Make sure, you know, she put her where she needs to be as far as yeah. the whole uh, happy, happy side of life. And I'll ask a quick question because I know we got sure. a lot to get into. Does she let you pass with just the Valentine's Day outing and oil? It has to be both, right? Like, does she get you, like, does she let you wrap up both in one? Like sometimes I get lucky the way that the days fall in the year. Like uh, she, you know, Valentine's fourteen and she's a sixteen. So a couple of years when it's been the Thursday Saturday combo or the Friday okay. Sunday combo, maybe <laughs> yeah. to go heavy on Saturday. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, I just, okay. I get the double dip. But when it's like a Sunday thing and then like a Tuesday thing, it's like yeah, that was last week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm expecting something new now. You know, you can't squeeze yeah. these weekends on a Monday. You know, that's I gotta right. Work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So depending on how it lands throughout the year, I could get away with a big, big joint. But if most of the time, gotta keep them separate, man. Two separate events. Definitely, definitely. Gotta respect them. All right, so we're gonna get into some current events. So we got Cuomo oh, this hit thing. with a sexual harassment allegations. So what do you think, man? Like, we gonna stop? Wait a minute. Or we gonna keep it pushing? 
I'm gonna stop for like like not even a full red light, like a stop sign. <laughs> it's nasty, man. It's not looking good for Cuomo. He shouldn't. Uh, have, whatever happened, he probably did that shit, man. Like it's not, he shouldn't have did it. It's all alleged. But um, I'm gonna move on from this, man. It's just nasty work. <laughs> nasty work with Cuomo right now. All right, next up we got Lady Gaga, yeah. her dog walker in get, L.A. gets shot up in L.A. All right, you know rich people ain't got the time. They rich. They're doing rich shit. Right. You get professional people to do things. You know, you cook for you, clean the crib. Yep. Hey, walk the dog. <laughs> walk the dog. And as far as a dangerous job, at the gotta be at the bottom of the list. And they get paid. Too. They get paid. <laughs> I see them in Central Park. People got like nine, ten dogs on them. Yo, I wonder. Like, I'm like, they can pay per dog up a block. Like, I was always curious, but chilling. <laughs> but long, long story short, somebody shot up her dog walker, took the dogs, left your man bleeding in the middle of L.A. Like, she was, you know, devastated. Put a bigger reward out, you know, for anybody that's seen her dogs. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, like, the news has been covering the, the missing dogs more than the guy who got shot. So it, I hope he's okay. It's funny you know? when you said it, I was like, I wonder what was her first reaction. Was it, damn, he got shot? Or did, they took the dogs? Took like, the dogs? you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, Louis and, and Mario? Yeah, like, man. Oh, yeah, but I hope yeah. he gets well soon. Hopefully she gets the dogs back. Oh, yeah. But uh, super unfortunate, man. I thought a dog walker was a safe gig. It is not. Oh, yeah. Watch a six, man. <laughs> so, like, be safe out be there. Be safe out there. <laughs> All right, next up, we got a gender-neutral potato head. Now, some things just don't, some things don't deserve to be updated to the times <laughs> like reparations yes you know minimum wage yes uh-huh. now we diversity and all professional offices yes right mr and miss potato head ain't got nothing to do with nobody like mm. the kids never complain like i don't even know if they play with them anymore unless there's a playstation game for them but like i know my son ain't asking for it <laughs> no one even knows to ask for it if you're under 15 you probably never seen one in your life that's true it's, that's it, true it's not it's not Connected to technology, so no one cares really. <laughs> yeah, hell but yeah, you can't swipe up. Can't swipe up on the internet. So, <laughs> you ain't got no apps. So Hasbro decides to say, "Hey man, we're gonna need a gender neutral Mister." No, I'm sorry, no more Mister, just Potato Head. Mm. So now in my head, I'm like, "So what's what's the potato gonna look like if it's not full man, it's not full woman?" Don't get me wrong, the only thing that's changing are probably the lips. Yeah, I think you went from like the red lips to the regular lips. That's how you knew who was who. Yeah, but, yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> like. I don't know what they changed on it because they never had any, any like lower op- extremities. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? No identifying genitalia. No so. pants, no skirts. But it's it's an interesting point because maybe they're just trying to make it relatable again. Like they think, okay, if we appeal to the changes, the maybe his, the his hers. Yeah, then maybe people will buy them for their kids because they're recognizing this new world that we live in of diversity. <sighs> It's a reach. <laughs> I feel that it's a reach, but in my head, it's like it kind of you kind of forcing a single parent on kids again mm. through a toy. Like mm. with Mister and Miss Potato Head, you kind of have the you know the look of hey, there's a Miss and a Mister. It's mm-hmm. a good thing. Not you should not that you need to strive for, but it was right. there. It was something to look forward to. You know, what I mean, now it's yeah. just like oh, I'm just a Potato Head. I could do this by myself. Yeah, I could get my in vitro. I could stay home. My grandma gonna watch the kids. Everything gonna work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> now they, I just hope they're not forcing this new uh, new independence that some people don't need for no reason. On right. The, Mr. Potato Head, man. It's, it's no, cold. I hear you. It's cold blooded, man. Leave, leave him alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys know how we do. Every time we get on this show, we bring a nice subject in regards to relationships, men, women. Whatever your sexual identity is, you can relate to these questions. But in this particular case, this question really hits home. Women don't cheat better than men. Men just want less. Speak on it, my brother. Like, throughout time, women have always been the better cheaters. Mm. It's, it's, It's like an unknown, known fact. Yes. The smarter, more intelligent, of course, sneakier when they need to be, lie right to your face, you probably wouldn't know it, right? <laughs> Yeah. Men, on the other hand, when they try to do the same exact thing, they're sloppy. They do sloppy shit. That's why I, that's why I can't do it. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not good at lying. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just some things you can't do. You know what I'm saying? But as time went on, it's the, the side on the woman's perspective. Mm-hmm. Do they, do they want to be the side? They'd rather be the main, no? Of course. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> and that's 
where things get a little gray. Because mm. the man, he's happy being aside. He's yeah. cool with the drop off the yo. I gotta go. You know why I gotta go? So I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And they're okay with that. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't, I don't know if women are technically the better cheaters, but men aren't the best Plan Bs. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. So he's like, like "Once I'm caught, I'm caught." You know what I mean? Like, uh, what's your opinion? How do you feel um, mm. the whole dynamic of you know just current times with technology mm. getting better? Yeah. Shit, it's getting tough, man. It, <laughs> that, so that's that's exactly what it is. Technology, right? So um, listen. For anyone around our age, we didn't grow up with technology. So mm -hmm. you could be out doing your thing. Unless somebody physically saw you, yeah. there was no yeah. way you got busted. Like, That's you could do whatever you had to do. Now, yeah, you got locations pinging everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got people with social media that can videotape you. I mean, videotape. that. Now I'm showing my age, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? They can Snapchat you. They can Instagram you. Like, you can't be anywhere. And then suppose you're trying to be a public figure or you're trying to be like, you know, like us right now in media. You can't be out with somebody that people don't know you with. Nope. They can take in that picture. They yeah. don't, that could, I could be out with Ebony, my niece. And then we're like, oh, that's not, that's not his wife. Click, click. You know what I, I, I mean? Send, I, I got to let her know it's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? Like he out there cheating. <laughs> Look at him. You know, like it's my niece. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you got to go. We grew up together. Thank like, you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to go defend yourself. Like, but so I heard an interesting theory a long, 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 long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So what I heard was that when it comes to men and women, there's a theory about the genitalia. Mm -hmm. where women, when they have sex, it's internal. Okay. For us, sex is external because we have... Preach, my brother. You Preach. know what I'm saying? Dicks, right? Preach. So, with our genitalia, it's external. You know what I mean? Think about it. The only time you really care about your stuff is when it reacts <laughs> for some action mm -hmm. or if somebody grazes it. You know what I yeah. mean? Other than that, you're just walking around dangling you yeah. know what i'm saying like swinging that's it free. Yeah, you're swinging free for the most part yeah for women you know the vagina's internal so when they have sex they're letting someone inside you know what i mean that sure. that's internal they, that you, you're reaching their soul and if god has really blessed you you're probably reaching their chest their heart you true. know what i mean very true you know so now that that was a theory i heard a long time ago and it stuck with me because it just made sense mm. It made so much sense. So when women cheat, they are cheating because they've literally lost their heart feelings for you, that love, mm -hmm. that care. And even if it was just to hurt you, it hurts us more because even though our penises are external, our hearts are internal and we are possessive. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Once we say you're mine, you're mine. Like think back to that toy that your friend tried to borrow and you was like, no, and he reached for it and you punched him in the face. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's mine. We are very possessive. Mm -hmm. But then, with our penises, we can give two shits. You know what I'm saying? We're it's, out yeah. there slanging and banging. Slinging and banging. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah so, so, that yeah, that's just my two cents. From a male, yeah, from a male perspective, yeah. uh, not that we don't care, but we know how to, you know, we know how to care from a distance mm -hmm. and never close enough where it would affect something. So, right, uh, tough, it's tough out there. But um, All right, and I hear the sirens. I think they're coming to get me right now. Like, get that nigga off the mic. Uh -huh. What the fuck is he trying you to know tell about our secrets? Feelings? <laughs> you know about know, right? feelings? What you know about, you know about them? <laughs> Talking to us about our genitalia. Who do you the think nerve. he is? <laughs> the nerve. But uh, speaking of people inside and just not what they used to be. Mm-hmm. People, you know, people eat at Arby's. Really? Like, like, like full blown eat at Arby's. That's the we have the meats. We got the, we got the meats. The <laughs> yeah. niggas, like, yeah. they had a new sandwich called the Meat Mountain. Okay. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's like <laughs> eight different types of meats, four different types of cheeses. Yeah. All kinds of shit. All in one sandwich. Like, just Heart Attack Central. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it sounds like it. And I, I just don't see another grown man going up to the counter like, um, man, starving today. You know what? <laughs> Give me the meat mountain with a straight face. Like, how, you, how, you, like, how, you supposed to, how is that supposed to work? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get it if you're an employee of ours, like, 
Oh, the number four? You want yeah. to just say number four, sir. Just a future yep. reference. Don't yep. ever say that out loud <laughs> ever in public. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, Heart Attack Central. I wish those people ended up eating it like a swift death. Like it's gonna it's gonna be terrible. There's other things to eat. Like there's yep. a lot of other healthier options. I'm yeah. not healthy at all, but I know that's not the way. Mm-hmm. That is not the way. I wish them all the best. <laughs> oh, Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Disgusting. Yeah. So what we got up next? We got an OnlyFans mom. Like, there's two sides to the coin. Like, OnlyFans does... For those that use the platform for its true purpose, you can make some money off of it. Right, right. In a safe, controlled environment. Yep. <laughs> but unfortunately, in order, to, in order to do that OnlyFans good side of shit, there's a bad side of things. <laughs> As there's always. Always, there's always repercussions and consequences That's to anything it. you may do. Yep. But this time, it didn't affect the OnlyFans mom directly. It affected her kids. Mm. The three kids from her school out in California that got expelled. Mm. Parent teachers, parent teacher conference came together and said, "Hey man, the PTA moms and shit." It's like, <laughs> "Hey man, my my husband told me that you are on an OnlyFans account and yeah. you, you can't be busting it open and your kids go to the school." Right. This isn't tits for kids. <laughs> this is she's like educational nah. institution. Her whole, her whole play was, "Nah, you know, I did it originally like a year ago. You know, to, you know, spice up my marriage. You know what I mean? It's just something we could do. You record a couple minutes." Throw it online, get a couple of dollars for it. Yeah, yeah. And when they started, there was only, you know, getting like, uh, like it was from like fifteen hundred a month. Now they're pulling like fifty thousand a month. Yeah, man. <laughs> now the kids can't go to school. They can't show their faces. Yeah, like, yeah. They're no, they're no longer enrolled. Yep. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and my whole dilemma was like, what if mom had to do this to pay for the school? Yep, that's very true. But hey, all these uh, straightforward. I'm not doing only fan moms. Like, hey, man. You're gonna have to get your money from your husband like the rest of us. This yeah, it's gonna, gonna yeah. work out. Like you guys, yeah. can't, you can't, you can't pit yourselves. And that it got me thinking more about the old sex workers of uh, you know Christmas past, <laughs> the ones that had to hit the pavement for their dollars. Yeah, you know I, mean? like, I know they're looking at these new age sex workers, only uh-huh. fans. Like, wait, all you guys are doing is setting up a tripod. Yep. <laughs> so, That's yeah, it. I they ain't so out bad. there in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> All, all times at night, putting, your, putting yeah. your personal safety at risk. Yeah, man. Uh, I remember that shit. What was it on HBO? Hookers at the Point? Oh, up in the Bronx. <laughs> Yo. I remember I drove by once in the daytime as an adult. I was like, is this where it went down? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, yeah. I, yeah, it was funny. Um, I was picking up my mother from work. Um, so it was, I had took a wrong turn to get on the FDR. And I ended up heading towards the Bronx versus going towards Brooklyn. Mm-mm. So when I get off, I see the exit and it says Hunts Point. Mm. So my mother's in the back. She's like, Sean, are we okay? I'm like, yeah, ma. I'm just trying to find my way back to the FDR. It's the dog like button. The dog like button. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I, I think I circled the block at least three times. Like, come on, let man. Like, something. Let me let just see, see some something. cheeks real let me quick. Just see something real quick. <laughs> Something, something some lace front. Let me yeah. see something out here. Yeah, I saw absolutely nothing. I was just like, man, I'm taking my ass home. They yeah. some fucking liars. HBO, those, those, those are good old days, HBO. They, they were showing oh, stuff yeah. that you weren't allowed to see as a kid. So oh, yeah. It worked out. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> oh, man. So, I, I, I like this next one, man. <laughs> so, um, this is this is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse? <laughs> uh, like you know when you get pulled over, yeah. you got the one car come get you, lights blaring, you got yeah. you know, your windows is down, everybody walking by like, oh they got him. Yeah. And then sometimes that second cop car pulls up. Right, right, right. And then you just know inside it's like, oh man, I might be going to jail, jail tonight. I think I found an unfortunate equivalent to the same, <laughs> to the same issue. Like, what's that? A couple weeks ago, you know, a testing positive, you know, for the cove. So, you know, me, when I walked in originally, me and, the, you know, the first doctor assistant, calm conversation, everything was awesome, you know. So, let me just swap your nose, do, 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 boop, boop. Well, be, let's say you want to wait for the results, so he wants to give you a call. Like, no, mm-hmm. wait, you know, no, do what you got to do. She says, no problem, we'll be right back. About 10 minutes go by. <laughs> Dude, with a whole hazmat team comes in, <laughs> <laughs> breathing all through the shit. I'm like, why are you all, why are you 
I dressed up like this. <laughs> like, that's all this about. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we got some bad news, sir. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, this is similar to the second cop car. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I don't want to see Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I never want to see you. And not, yeah. not at a time like this. But I was, yeah. if for those for those listening, I need to know like what's worse, the second cop car. Yes. Or the hazmat doctor coming back with your COVID results. Oh hell yeah, we we we, we need to know. You I know what I mean? That's, like, that's fucking a lot. They both suck. Yeah, <laughs> both of them. I'm nervous. Like I, I don't yeah. think both reactions are like I'm probably not making it out of here. Not <laughs> like, it out of here. Nope. Oh not man, it. that's a good one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make the power switch over to politics. Yes, yes. That was a bar. I like that. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote that down mentally. I was like, I might use that, I might use that this week. <laughs> so we're going to go over to politics. And first off, we want to say our prayers are with everyone in Texas. Yes, yes. Um, we, we joke around about the snow, but we know how that storm impacted everybody over there with the electrical grid, with the water. With the homes being damaged. So They're that's the first thing we want to say before we go in. Mm-hmm. And I think you're going to like how we go in on this one. Yeah. So um, first off, we got Mayor Tim Bloyd. Or should we start with Ted Cruz and then go into Tim Bloyd? Let's start with Ted. Yeah. Because Ted was the first nigga to wild out. <laughs> <laughs> he was the first nigga to wild out. That's very true. That's very true. <sighs> so you guys probably saw some pictures, right? You probably saw some pictures of your man Ted Cruz. Right, he was supposedly dropping off his kids because nobody else could drop off his kids in Mexico. Right now, mind you, this man's state is going through a state of emergency. A a a natural disaster was issued, and he's (laughs) on the first thing smoking. Gotta go. To Tropical Central. Mexico, here we come. Yo, like, <laughs> Mexico has been like Little Washington Heights for the last month and a half. Yep. Tulum is dead ass like Dykeman right yep. now. Like, you, you know what yep. I'm saying? Yep. So, uh, listen, there is no more embarrassing moment. Well, there is. But <laughs> it was a very embarrassing moment for Ted Cruz. I hope he does not have presidential aspirations with nah, that. I hope and. Not. It kind of made me miss Trump for a second, for a split second, because I think he would have had fun with this on Twitter. You know, you know what? <laughs> the difference between Trump and Ted Cruz, mm-hmm. Trump wouldn't have came back. He's like, nah, <laughs> it's still cold over there. Bro. I'm, in, I'm in Mexico. I'm ready. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm back I, on the plane. And I think Trump would have just knew, hey, there's a storm going there. Maybe if I leave ahead of time, they can't say I left. They can't catch me. Exactly. I was never there. I was like, damn, Texas got hit. Shit, I was just about to come back. And what what hurt even more with the Ted Cruz issue, like, the, the community snitch group. Like, because mm. the wife texts a few, you know, uh, close friends, I guess, from the neighborhood. Or right, right. Just, you know, just close circles. Hey, girls, um, we're going out to Mexico, you know, weather's crazy <laughs> out here. It's freezing. Yep, it's yep. Like th- it's like 350, 375 a night. If you want to come through, let me know. Yeah, one of the group chat participants forwarded the whole thread to like the New York Times like yo look what this crazy chick want to do like everybody middle, got a price middle bro. of a pandemic <laughs> like talking about oh let's go to somewhere warm mm-hmm. now for the average person that's okay yeah <laughs> the average person like <laughs> yep. and the thing is when him, him not being an average person didn't he have access to like a like a private jet or something where he wouldn't be seen? Because if he wasn't at the, I would think so. If he wasn't at the regular airport, he probably would have got away with it. Nobody, yeah. Until somebody saw him in Mexico, yeah. he probably would have got away with it. But him just taking regular United, just do 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 do. Yeah, and, and and you know what? It's funny. I think in his mind, if I take you know a commercial flight, people won't think I'm hiding. Right? They'll think like, well, there has to be some logical reason why he's getting on yep. a flight leaving nope. Texas nope. if he's flying commercial. Mm-mm. Yeah, it didn't work. Just, <laughs> he said, yeah, it was nasty out there. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't work. It didn't work in his favor. Yeah. So now we have Mayor Tim Bloyd, Boyd, who, oh my God. He wilded out too. <laughs> he, he, he was a perfect example of when keeping it real can go wrong. Indeed. He went Indeed. On, he went on in a press conference. Oh, not blaming the residents of the state, but just enforcing them and en- enforcing in them that they can do more. Yeah. Like, yeah, we know you don't got running water. Yeah. What do you think they did in the old days? You know, get it yeah. how you live. Go get your water. You got to take care of your phone, take care of your family. Exactly. And, and all the residents looking around like, 
they can we pay taxes? Like, we wait. We making phone calls when shit like this goes bad. (laughs) This takes me back to the old... Saying, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say, shit. Don't say <laughs> like, nothing at don't all. Don't say nothing, like, and it's hilarious. Like, some people really ignore it. Like, those, there are really people that always feel like they have to say something all the time. And it's like, literally, if you would have just kept your mouth shut for that little moment, you probably would have saved yourself years of, of heartache. heartache, all kinds of just, <laughs> just pain. You didn't have to go through. Hell yeah, you gotta get gotta get your point across. Exactly. And that blew up in his face. I think he had to like resign like immediately, like the very mm-hmm. next day. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They, they wasn't it was a rap for him. They wasn't playing it at all. It was a rap. Oh man, not to harken back. Uh, <laughs> I need to know who Trump found. For the new lawyer team, because <laughs> the last two lawyer squads of his said, "Yo, we can't do it, man. It's looking real bad for you. Yeah, we man. Can't help you out. Yeah. Somehow he mustered up this new dream team. Mm-hmm. He beat a second impeachment. Money talks, man. Money talks. <laughs> he's a dirtbag. He's a he's a he's a goatish dirtbag when it comes to when it comes to ducking the law between taxes, yeah. and, <laughs> and just not paying them, yep. and just yeah, I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm the president." And now just, oh, you're trying to impeach me? Not even there? Nah, you're still not. I'm still not going to let that fly. Yeah, man. Shit's nuts. Yeah. America's going to have a long time trying to reestablish their respect around the world. <laughs> yeah. Because all, all other countries are looking like, y'all let him in? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not anybody getting in the VIP, at, you know, at the at the new popping lounge. You right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's the, it's the president of the United States. Y'all right. Like, the dude with the, with the reality show win? Right. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> So all my little respect for you guys are done. <laughs> like, <laughs> I lost all my little respect. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Definitely, definitely. Speaking of, oh, uh, another bad thing for Trump. <laughs> his uh, his hotel lot in AC, they finally um took that down. Self destructed, went down like a ton of bricks. Wow. <laughs> and get that shit out of here. Not to bring up old allegations, but <laughs> the way that building imploded within itself. Gave me 9-11 vibes. Oh shit! Like I know a plane bro. hit the high. I know a, I know a plane hit a high point in the, in the building, but it shouldn't have imploded like that. It shouldn't have. Yeah. Like, anyway, anyway, I didn't want to go back to that that terrible day in New York history. Mm-hmm. But um, I did I did get some bad memories though when I seen that building go down. I said that looked cool. yeah. that looked planned. Like nine like that building that fell in two thousand one. Like looked yeah. planned. Like yeah, listen, that day is implanted in anybody's mind. So yeah, that conspiracy ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we'll save for, for another episode. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So the next one is is definitely you know this is our politics and business section. Yes, yes. So this is really important right here, right now. We're going to be talking about Jay Z, Chicken Man, Chicken Man. Man. Go ahead, bro. Oh, like all right now. He's had a knack for for wanting something, and the powers that be saying no, you can't have it. Right. And he's just been a great person to go. Nah, you're not gonna give it to me. All right, y'all, I gotta go build it myself. Yep. <laughs> yep. The record deal, nobody gave it to him. I'm gonna make my whole. I'm gonna make a record label. Mm. He said, "Yo, I, I want to be part of the business and for, for streaming. Nah, nobody gonna let me in. I'm gonna make my own streaming service." Yep. So y'all not respecting me on the crystal I want to drink. Nah. I'm gonna go make my own. I'm gonna go make my own champagne, bro. That's it. Yep. So he found a champagne company, bought them out, increased their profit tenfold, and now he's in cahoots with the Moet brand. They bought mm-hmm. half his business. He's he, like he just continues to win at things that it seemed like he didn't even want to do in the first place. Just right, the fact right. that he was like he saw he saw a door slam shut in his face, and he's like. I got mad keys on me. I'm going to just open up a new door and get to the other side some other way somehow. Definitely. And once again, he does it. Shouts to Jay, man. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's still he, the GOAT. Yeah. He's the model businessman to come from where he came from and just continue to excel. Yeah. Like, it's like he's aging backwards. Yeah. And he's still <laughs> rapping better than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's incredible, man. Shout out to Jay. That's oh, real. Man. That's really real. All uh, right. I'm gonna throw this over to the uh, the medical, <laughs> the medical aspect of the show. Couple things with COVID nineteen. What's the update this week? Man? Listen, listen. All right. So as you guys know, we have Pfizer, we have Moderna, but coming down the pike, and it's supposed to be really, really good because this one you'll only have to take one dose. Mm. Is it as effective? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get into that, right? So this one. 
You only have to take one dose. And just like I believe Moderna, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Mm. Only Pfizer does, right? At a really crazy temperature. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Johnson & Johnson just got their EUA, remember, emergency use authorization, to now produce vaccinations. So now, if you're keeping in touch with the news right now, they just delivered a bunch of new vaccines to a bunch of the health institutions. So now, right now, the big thing is, once Johnson & Johnson gets out there, it's supposed to be even more effective and be really just really trying to mitigate how this virus spreads. And remember, it's all about reducing the hospitalizations, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like the flu. You know what I mean? You're going to still probably contract COVID-19, but it won't be as bad. You know what I mean? You ain't going to be on a ventilator and stuff like that. That's the hope. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the great things about Johnson & Johnson that's coming. Um, But like I always say, make sure you get in touch with the facts, right? There's the the mRNA and then there's the RNA. Um, There's a difference between the two, but you're going to have to do your own research on it because I am not a scientist. You know what I mean? I always stay in my lane. I can only give you my opinion. Yes, yes. I can tell you definitions, but it's better that you speak to your physician. Do your research, people. Yeah, exactly. And you get exactly what they think about that stuff. I know what I think, but it's better you do it on your own. The opinions of the Freedom Cage podcast are of ours alone. And no one else is, is <laughs> a lot of these are facts. A lot of these are pretty good, pretty good right. news tidbits, but That's please right. do your own research on anything you hear. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So what we got uh, next? More, more COVID-19 stuff. Mm-hmm. I've seen on the news, we were talking about this a couple episodes ago, but um, they're trying to make a new medicine, medicine shot combo where it's a combination of the flu shot itself that, you know, you used to get, you know, yearly prior to the whole COVID thing. And now they're taking that flu shot and trying to mix it or incorporate it with a combo vaccine shot. Mm-hmm. So now there's going to be this new cocktail that I hope never gets approved of the flu <laughs> shot and the vaccine in one thing like some things just shouldn't be mixed. Like, you know what I mean? So just some, I agree. It's some, some things should not be mixed. Like, I agree. At all. Mm-hmm. I, was that drink? Was that old drink? Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. That was that hypnotic and Hennessy, man. Oh, God, they, the incredible hope. Oh. They're going to call this shit the incredible vaccine, man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nasty work, man. I hope it yeah. never gets approved. That's just too much. Yeah, I mean, if, if you've been following the show, y'all remember what I thought about this, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember mixing Hennessy and Patron. Wasn't a good look. Bad night. Terrible yeah, morning. Yeah, man, really. <laughs> that, 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 that could be an album cover right yeah, there. Yeah, bad bad night, night, terrible, terrible morning. morning. It, never, it never got better. That's it. We got bars and we got album titles, guys. Oh, <laughs> we here all, all night, all day. Whenever hell you need us. yeah, hell yeah. So this is the fun part, right? Where we get into random news, random things going on that ended up on our radar. So Ooh. first up, we on Mars now, brother. We on Mars now. <laughs> like, we are on like Mars. One small step for humans and an even bigger step for the camera that the, that's willing to land on our Yo, behalf. let me tell you something, man. Like We are on Mars. And I find it very interesting because at some point, and I, feel, I forgot what comedian said this, but... He felt like, you know, white people was going to leave. Oh, I think it was on Cedric the Entertainer. Mm. He said, like, white people keep going in in space because they act like they're going to leave us. He was like, you go into space, we coming into space yeah. too. Like, <laughs> right behind you. Ain't no way y'all going to leave us, man. I just, but, hope, um, I just hope nothing kicks over the, the machine that landed. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> the man out there with no security, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He is. He's, they just landed him. He is, yeah. So the NASA Perseverance rover, Perseverance rover safely landed on Mars after its 292 million mile journey from Earth. Bruh. How much gas he needs? <laughs> That's even. crazy. Ugh. Yeah, man. Um, it's called Percy. Think they call him Percy? Yeah. One of, it's an acronym, Percy. one of it's an acronym or something. I'm pretty sure it is. They'll come up with something, man. Depending. If something kicks it over, they'll come up with an acronym. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody At that kicked point. Percy. Yeah, man. And we have no idea who was behind him. <laughs> Yo. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, um. Jumping ship. Uh, almost a uh, congratulations, uh, Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did a, a, a new. I like how he's dropping his uh, his tidbits or his skits now. Yes, he's uh, he's got it tied into his YouTube channel. So uh, he dropped a new special called Redemption Song, 
And then, you know, he brought, uh, he spoke about the Capitol thing. Yes. Uh, a couple, a few highlights, a few lowlights. But uh, something that struck out to me was um, on his prior YouTube special, he asked his fans, if they're true fans of his, to no longer proceed to watching his Chappelle show on all these separate platforms mm-hmm. because he's not being compensated for his past work. Absolutely, yeah. Um, he tried to strike a deal over and over. They kept saying, no, you signed the contract. It is what it is. Yep. The people listen. So we stopped tuning in to Netflix, HBO, all the platforms that sought out to Comedy Central to, you know, acquire the rights. And the big wigs reached out to Dan Chappelle to say, hey, if you don't want us to play your show, we won't play it. Right. Out of respect to you. Yep. And plus, you know, the people stop watching it, so. Uh-huh. It's not making us money. If, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you need this as leverage to get where you got to go, we're yeah. willing to, you know, uh, bite the bullet in a sense for the greater good. Mm-hmm. Long story short. He was able to finally get compensated for a show. I believe he obtained full rights of the show he created, um, one of the best sketch comedies ever created. And he was able to re-release, I think, on February 12th, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he was able to get back on Netflix, but now he owns full rights of it. Any mm-hmm. money coming in, he's now a part of it and gets a piece of it. Right, so, right. congrats to Dave, man. Um, took a long time to get to this road. A lot of fucked up stories in the news yeah yeah people saying he did things he didn't do uh, he went crazy he went to Africa yes he went to Africa but he didn't go crazy he's just trying to stand up for himself mm-hmm. so um shouts to Dave man so yeah true happy you got you got your you got your you got your control back mm-hmm. now make a new season <laughs> yeah yeah please please do man yeah I, I, yo shout out to Dave mm-hmm. great story man great story so what's next we got Side of Prince <sighs> I'll let you take two, this. It was a two-fold thing with Sai High, right? You remember um, The Life of Pablo, right? Right. Uh, Kanye was probably one of the best feature albums ever. Like, yeah, Rihanna, ASAP. He had the entire... He had Andre... He had everybody could think of on his one album. Somehow made it sound cohesive. Great. On the Father Stretch My Hands track, there was a lost verse from Sai High to Prince. If you're not familiar with Sai High, he's really, really good. But he's been a behind-the-scenes guy. He writes Facts. for a lot of people. He um, you know, gives his two thoughts, his two cents to those in need and higher levels of him so they're able to take his, his 16 and make it look even hotter, right? Mm-hmm. I seen him driving in the car. He spit, his, he spit his verse, I guess, that never made the album. Verse was phenomenal. Super hyped to hear it. Maybe listen to his, um, his other album. Not his other album. The only other album he ever had. The um, uh, take, Was it Take Me to Church or something like that? great gym album put it on whenever you can <laughs> not that I'm going to the gym but you know what I mean <laughs> but um a couple of hours later I hear he got shot at in Atlanta driving on the highway people tried to run him off the road he crashed the whip and he thought that was it but the car ended up coming back and shooting the car up even more like you know grace of God they missed him I don't think he had any major injuries due to the crash but he had a long Instagram kind of you know reach out like yo I'm not the king out here, but if you are the king out here, put a stop to this. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's find out why we're mad at each other. Yeah, let's just shake yeah. hands on it because he's been out the streets for X amount of years. He doesn't think he has any past beefs that should be following him to this magnitude. That's so he's like, whoever's mad at me, if you need a number, if you need a price, if I got it, <laughs> and it'll, keep you, it'll keep you sane and off yeah, my back, talk yeah. to me. Let's no, get yeah. this done. Like, I got, I'm trying to see my kids like every day. Definitely. So, you know what I mean? I'm happy Definitely. he's doing good, though. Prayers to him. Um, the Bentega got smashed up. Mm. But I hope he's doing all right, man. Right. So before we get to the next segment, we got Daft Punk. We're going to hit this with a stop. Wait a minute. Or are we going to keep it pushing? I think I'm going to make a quick stop at a stop sign. No red, <laughs> no red light. But uh, they're retiring after 28 years. A few, few, few questions. One, we still don't know what the fuck you look like. <laughs> but you haven't put nothing out in like eight years. So just wait two more years, bro. Just get to the 30. Yeah. Call it a clean 30. <laughs> now we can retire. You know what I mean? Like, Because nobody knows you. Not like you can walk out in public now. Right. Yeah, I've been walking in public for fucking decades. We don't know who you are, bro. <laughs> yep. I don't know who's under there. I, can't, I hope they saw their face one day. I really do. Just to go, that's what you look like? You've been wearing that, that hot suit for all these years? Yep. But um, but yeah, man, congrats to them and their, everything they've done. They put a lot of work out. But um, mm. yeah, they're calling it quits after 28. Okay, good for them, man. Yeah, man, <laughs> crazy. So this is going to be, this is a fun but, you know, humble area of our segment right now. We're going to get into some music, 
some entertainment, and some celebrities. So, mm. the first one is really interesting. So, we got the Kimye divorce. Now, when I first saw this, right, it's not like it was surprising to me that it was happening, mm -hmm. but at this point, certain conversations I've had have said, oh, well, you know, we knew that was coming because Kanye's crazy and Kim doesn't deserve the way he acts and what he does. And I'm like, but Kanye been Kanye. Yes, this is true. <laughs> like he was, he was a little off the rocker since we met him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I remember Kanye with the wild design in the hair, mm -hmm. and the henny bottle gripping Amber Rose's ass. Like those, those, those are good Kanye times. <laughs> you man. know what I'm saying? I miss like, that Kanye. <laughs> you know that was the same one when he went up there and told Taylor Swift the, uh, the award should have went to Beyonce. I miss that Kanye. <laughs> yo, ignorant. You know what I mean? But the music was slapping. Yo, I'm telling you. So <laughs> for me at this point, it's like. We're going to put this on yay? It's not his third marriage. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Thank so, you. You know what I mean? Thank um, you. Yeah, I got a lot of money at stake, a lot of kids now. I just, mm. hey, I just, I wish for a speed uh, recovery. Mm. I don't think he's ever, I think I don't think he's ever recovered from like her meeting Meek. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. That, that, that sort of meltdown he had, thinking they did something. If they did, allegedly, who knows? But right, right. he never recovered from that. So, um, yeah. I just wish them a. I just, I'm just, I really just hope the kids don't spiral out from this. Yeah, right, you know what I mean? Right, I just right, hope yeah. They can keep it tight somehow and keep it cordial. And let's just co-parent as the millionaires we are. Yeah, but, I um, agree. No bad blood, I hope. No bad blood. I agree. And next up, we got Safari and Erica Mena. Well, you know, hip. They got the love of hip hop show. You know, with COVID, they haven't been able to film lately, and I assume everybody's right, getting back right. into the production things. So, with production needs promotion. With promotion mm. it needs drama. Well, drama needs yep. more headlines. Unfortunately, I was thinking the same thing. Yep. So you know, uh, Safari said some wild shit on the Twitter. She said some wild shit in response. Yep. And you know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be dropping new episode coming soon. <laughs> yep. Let's see if they'll get their lives back together. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say pray for them. They're both crazy, but I uh, wish them the best. Um, mm -hmm. They did. They did have a kid though, right? I believe so. I mean. My personal opinion, I'm gonna keep it pushing on that one because I I, I really don't give it's a not, shit. It's not our it's not our <laughs> yeah, it's not our business. I wish them yeah, the best, man. Hell not our yeah, business. Hell yeah. So, um, listen, as you know, this week was really tough for a golf legend, Tiger Woods, involved in a terrible, terrible crash, where I believe he fractured his leg in two places yeah. and shattered his ankle Ugh. and went right into emergency surgery. He was actually on his way to the golf course. Um I think to give some lessons to Drew Brees. They yeah, said he was doing like a celebrity yeah. uh, golf teaching thing with Exactly. Him. And I, I just thought when I saw it pop up it was crazy. But the most impactful thing that I saw and this is, once again, shout out to Ramel. Ramel put up, in, in January, we had something, you know, very crazy happen. And then in February, a high-profile athlete passes, you know, has mm -hmm. a, a bad accident. Mm -hmm. Doesn't this story sound familiar? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we, we really haven't gotten away from 2020's curse. Like... Yeah. It, it is crazy, man. Yeah. Um, I wish him a speedy recovery. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is the last kick in the bucket for him as far as, uh, you know, professional golf anymore. All right. But I really hope he could get back to the green. I know that's what he loves. Um, but what what kind of sickened me was uh, not the allegations, but the um, the <gasps> Tiger Wood in a car crash. Was he with another lady? Oh, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was, he, was he under the influence? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was, i seen a lot of stuff, people pulling out of the woodwork that exactly. had nothing to do with the issue at all. I'm just like, yo, just wait for the facts. Yep. Let me find out what happened to Tiger first. Let's make sure he's good. Mm -hmm. And then we could have the conversation about what actually happened after we find out. Yep. Everybody's in a rush to just get news out, and they don't care if it's right mm -hmm. or wrong. That, that kind of pissed me off a bit, but it's the media. Can't yeah, stop exactly. them. They're going to keep... Median, unfortunately. Exactly, man. But 
you know, yeah, so like you said, man, um, sympathies to Tiger, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Speedy recovery. But on a lighter Brooklyn, note, Brooklyn. On a lighter note, the hat has come back. Bobby, into, bitch. The hat has come back into the Earth's atmosphere. Bobby, bitch. And he caught it right where he left off. Like, Yo. Um, Bobby is home. Bobby is finally home. Like, um, I think you felt, you felt the energy, like, because of COVID, we didn't really get to feel it, like, how we would have felt it if everybody was outside. Yes. Like, it, it would have been ridiculous, like, almost when Tony Ayo came home yes. and surprised everybody at Summer Jam. Facts. Like, the, the fucking stadium shook. That was dope. MetLife Stadium shook that fucking Sunday. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Bobby's home, man. Quavo came through in a private jet. Mm. I gave him the Smurda kit and the Louis bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Couple chains, couple, couple, couple racks, mm-hmm. couple uh, okay looking bitches, but whatever. First day out, <laughs> first day out. You know what I mean? We'll take what we can get today. No big deal. But um, you know, he got the, I think got to meet his family. You know what I mean? Meet a lot, like, couple people. But yeah. um, now that now it's weird. Now, like I'm happy he's out. Like. Way better than being behind a wall, but mm-hmm. the last couple photos I've seen of him uh, a day or two since he's been out, Bobby just looks exhausted. Like, <laughs> like they've been running him rampant. Like, you know, what I mean? he's yeah. at the Rock Nation office in this photo. Yeah, he was doing this in another person, another photo. He's learning IG Live with Rowdy. You know, what I mean, yeah. I just like he saw him in the club. Lady tried to pass him a drink. He's like, Nah, I'm good. Like, yeah, you know what I'm, saying? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here because you know you guys got my name up on a banner. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. I, I, I just hope he gets to take a nap at some point. Oh, yeah. Like, he just got out. Like, <laughs> other than eating a good oxtail dinner, hopefully he <laughs> get that man a, a California king and let him sleep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let him wake up on his own for once a couple of days. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just uh, hope he doesn't get burnt out before he really gets to get back into the groove of things. Yeah, no, it's tough, man. It's tough. Um, it's one of the most anticipated returns. Um, You know, the real has returned. Mm-hmm. What he did goes down in history yeah. man you know what i'm saying he could have got a sh- yeah he could have got a shorter sentence and sent rowdy and all his other boys to you know jail for a longer time but he said nah me and rowdy gonna do this bit together we're gonna come home together that's it we're good i got a question about that now mm-hmm. we know what bobby did you know what i mean he put his own personal freedom on a, on a line to you know help others close to him in need right rowdy got out first about what two months ago now maybe Two, yeah, maybe two months. So, Roddy came out, he hit the streets running, mm-hmm. dropped the track with Flex. He has another new one out. Do you think he should have waited for Bobby to get out to drop that joint track with them now that they're both home at the same time? Or do you think he did the right thing by just hitting, going straight to the studio? Yo, that's what I do. I'm a rapper. The yeah. bag, I'm gonna I'm get this bag. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, I, I would think that he did the right thing because I think when you first get out, if you're on probation, you can't be around convicted felons. Mm. So that's why we probably won't see Rowdy and Bobby together yet. Okay. You I know what I mean? That. Okay, okay. Yeah, so while you're on probation, I think that is a clause. So that's why you see right now, Bobby, I don't even think he's in the city. Mm. You know what I mean? If he is in the city, he's he can't be nowhere near anybody yeah. that's a convicted felon right Damn. now. You know, and well, I think he's on probation for like what three, four, five, I think five years. He's like on pro. I thought uh, I thought he finished all his stuff by staying. Oh no, probation. He, he's Damn, I'm not sure. Somebody yeah. gotta let me know. Um, yeah, I yeah. Thought, I thought I was hoping he was done with his probation with the extra time he did. Yeah, I mean, hey, if I'm wrong, that's great. So you know, at that point, you know, I just, I just hope he gets to get around his people again, and I can't wait for that first. Rowdy and Bobby track like yeah, I know that's gonna, gonna be, be real. It's gonna be a lot of energy on it. You know hell what I mean? yeah, like, hell know, yeah. Like they've been they had a couple of years to get the perfect sixteen together for this track. So <laughs> it should be definitely. Dope. It should be dope. Definitely, definitely. Oh, congrats, uh, Lauren Hill. Yes, uh, yes. The miseducation of Lauren Hill finally goes diamond. That is true. Um, what year was that? Was that ninety seven? Ninety uh, eight? I want to say that. I really want to say um, that. Um, but I, yeah, man, diamond. That's a big feat. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are able to get it a lot faster. Yep. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if she's like the first hip hop female act to ever acquire a diamond album. I, I think she is. But yeah, she's sells. the first female to send to sell ten million copies. That's that's incredible. That's big. Yep. That's big. That is incredible, man. Yeah, man. Congrats to Lauren Hill. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, at this point. 
don't make another one. Like we're we're good. Like, you know what <laughs> I mean? Where we are, make where one. we are with you. We appreciate it. Like <laughs> uh, you had a time as classic. We always hey, we always go to Fuji's and we want to hear something else. Yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, we don't yeah. need anything new from you. Um, we have not that I'm happy you retired, but you know, hey, it's retirement isn't it fits you at this point. Yeah, you know I mean, we're happy yep. for that. Um, switching gears with staying in music, the baby. Yo, I'm a fan of him. Big um, fan, big fan. There's no freestyle though. Uh huh. Tell me about this, please. So, <laughs> so the baby just released a new freestyle to a song by Spotum Gotum that is pretty much a TikTok frenzy where you see people doing the June Bug Challenge. Mm-hmm. Last episode, you heard us give appreciation to the challenges because it's dope, right? It gives old and young a chance to participate in something fun, and that's mm-hmm. always good. So. He's being criticized for a bar that sounds like he's calling Jojo Siwa now a bitch. Who the fuck is Jojo Siwa? So Jojo Jojo Siwa is actually a a YouTuber that became very famous. I believe oh. she was on some I think some reality show and she had a particular talent and pretty much blew up with her YouTube channel, right? Okay. So now Recently, she came out as being a member of the LGBT community. Okay. And in the bar, it, it, it's interesting because, you know, we we are, we love rap, right? Mm-hmm. We like to do analysis on bars and stuff like that. And the way he drops the bar, it's not in a way where he's calling her a bitch. Mm-hmm. He's using the analogy, even JoJo can see why. Uh, you know what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha. You're a bitch. Even Jojo can see why you're a bitch. Exactly. So, okay. for all you people struggling with why is he calling Jojo see why a bitch, Damn. he couldn't drop it in any other way. Nah. No. It's called the bar. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's why. And then now I, I feel bad because now in our new sensitive world, he had to come out. And tell Jojo CY, like, yo, my daughter loves you. Like, yeah, yeah. she idolizes you. Like, she Take watches care. your show all the time. She knows all your songs. We sing your songs together. Yeah. And if you follow the baby, you know he's he's in love with his daughter. He yeah, does anything she wants. So, the minute when I heard the criticism, that's one artist that I feel like I never have to second guess. Mm-hmm. That brother has been who he is from the minute he came out. And he's been solid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He hasn't stepped into business that wasn't his. Nope. And he's just, he's been all about him and his people. So the minute I heard it, and I heard the song before the criticism, and I didn't know who Jojo Siwa was, but when I heard it, I was just like, okay, okay. even Jojo can see why. I'm like, is he talking about, um, uh, is it Run's son? Because I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, his nickname was Jojo. Exactly. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what yeah. Jojo I don't know, like. what he, I don't know what he did. Recently. Yeah, well, maybe they're cool, and he's like, even Jojo can see why, or whatever. I got the bar. But that's just me understanding the bar. But then people put it together when they read the lyrics. Correct. And they saw it said Jojo Siwa. Yeah. And they were like, oh, why is he calling her a bitch? What did she do? People overanalyze the wrong things often. All the time, man. All and the time. And the baby's always in negative light because, you know, most of the time I feel like he's defending himself. But yeah. he's a superstar, so people don't really like, you know, rich people defending themselves. Yeah. Like, hey, man, you're rich. Hire somebody else to do it for you. Yep. And then we can blame you both as a unit and sue you both. You know what I mean? So <laughs> <laughs> the people would rather that than have yeah. to themselves. So, but you know, it's the baby, man. You gotta just take a step back, and the fact that he adds comedic value to the whole yeah. rap thing as well. Just gotta take it with a grain of salt. He means no harm when he gets mm-hmm. behind the mic most of the time. But um, yeah, just don't run up in a, in a Walmart or anything like that. That's nope. all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Uh, Rick Ross, he had a uh, NPR Tiny Desk concert. Did you get to see it? No, I didn't. I'm a Rick Ross fan, so anything, and the fact that there's no more stadiums or real performances outside of, now, you know, the title presentations or, you know, the, mm-hmm. the Tiny Desk concerts, His he did a couple good songs that I'm a fan of, um, but the person that stole the show was a singer there with him. Okay. Social media tore his ass up. He was singing parts of songs that they didn't feel like he should have been singing. Okay. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> but he's a good singer. Just like it, it just didn't blend well with what Rick Ross was trying to do with the whole tiny desk concert. Right. So um, this is one of those uh, skip it, pass it kind of things. You gotta <laughs> just pass it. Like it did come up. I did see it. I didn't like the show. Yeah. Didn't care too much about the guy singing with him. But hey, man, when there's no camera time, 
any camera is I'm gonna use this time to my maximum. He definitely did that to the best <laughs> of his possibility. Yeah, but, uh, no, shots of across, man. Yeah, we can definitely keep it pushing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Kevin Hart, man, like he can't catch a break. Um, <laughs> his personal, sh- like Kevin Hart's pretty swagged out as far as you know his outfits, his you know his uh, mm-hmm. his outfits that he puts together, his sneakers. You know, I mean, he's well put together. His personal shopper over the last year and a half somehow scammed a million dollars out of one of the credit card accounts, mm. funneling, you know, padding up his own personal bank account. You know what I mean? But I don't know enough about it. Just another sad situation. <laughs> Kevin Hart's a multimillionaire. He, when you're so rich, you don't even know this Thank shit you. like that. It's, it's That's hard exactly to care. what I was it's thinking. Hard, yeah. It's hard to care about it. You know what I mean? But I'm going to just skip it. But yep. yeah, fuck him, man. <laughs> don't, 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 don't take money from Kevin Hart, man. He's cool. Yeah, and it ruins opportunities for other people. So I Correct. Like, yep. Correct. Because the next person is getting super scrutinized. You know it. And they mean nothing but the world. You know what yep. I mean? So we'll see what happens there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What we got next? Little Boosie can't shut the fuck up, man. Oh, man. <sighs> He's doing interviews with... DJ Vlad and I don't know why anybody still continues to talk to him but here we are and he <laughs> he's just saying shit that no one asks him other than people that we don't want to hear questions from mm-hmm. he falls into this trap every time when he's talking about Lori <sighs> Michael B. Jordan called him a simp like all kinds of wild shit and nobody asks you bro like stay out mm-hmm. of these young beautiful rich people's business <laughs> just stay in the lane that you're in keep raising a million kids you got just keep doing what you gotta do, bro. Nobody's looking for a song from you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay in the background. Keep managing music. Mm-hmm. Just stay there, bro. Like, if there's anybody that's gonna shut up and rap, we just need you to do that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. stay out of other people's business. It never suits you good. Yep. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, never. Yeah, so in this section, man, we like to get into an artist spotlight. We're always gonna bring some artists that you probably heard of or didn't hear of Mm -hmm. and this particular artist is called nf he has the clouds mixtape that is out right now Mm -hmm. and right now the first song i heard was clouds and the song is dope It, it has a nice mix of rock and rap and you know it it it's always good when you go through your new music list, right? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I I don't go through my normal playlist. I'll just go into my Apple Music and say, you know, just give me something new. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't care what it is, country, rock, whatever. And this artist popped up and the melody, the beat, the way he flows on the beat, the bars, I mean, everything is just like, all right, like I could get with this. But you know what I'm saying? So if you haven't checked him out, his name is NF, that's his artist name, and it's really interesting because in his biography, it looks like rap was his escape, mm. and regardless of whether you're in poverty or you're just in a place where you're trying to figure out who you are or who you want to be, mm. it's interesting how rap has been that for so many artists, and he's released a couple of EPs since, I think, 2012, mm-hmm. so you can tell he's been grinding for a while now, but... Check him out, NF Clouds mixtape, really good artist, man. I I, I liked it. All right, uh, I gotta check that out. His name's NF. Yeah, NF. Does, does that's the name. Or yeah. that's all it is. Just NF. Um, it stands for his actual um government name. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. All right, I'll find it. Uh, right. Nathan John Fierstein. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna look out for him. Out of Michigan. Yep, Michigan. All yeah, right, man. I came across another artist actually. Um, okay. You remember Bubba Sparks? Yes. He only, he, I think he only had like maybe an album or two. He, he ran with Timbaland back then. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. But, but I came across um, a younger hip hop 2021 version of him. Okay. Uh, his name was uh, Blake Fades. Like, he just had like a million followers on like Instagram and stuff. Like, you know, he's starting to bubble, getting his name out there, but he's spitting verses over. Like, he found a way to how Lil Wayne would find the dopest beat out, give you, you know, three minutes of heat. Yeah. And put it on a 10 track mixtape and yo that's Lil Wayne he can do what he wants to but he found a way in a loophole where he has TikTok videos okay. and he's he's pretty much showing everybody what he would've did with the beat nice he'll give you a quick 16 he did something over the Cardi B song up uh, and he killed it like he crushed it nice. and, and and he if you just heard the song without seeing him you would understand that he's a country singer, but once you see him, like he has like the whole camouflage suit, 
big hat on, <laughs> standing in the middle of the mud with the cows behind him, has a mic in the middle of the grass. Like I love he's it. He's a true country boy, but he's rapping <laughs> like he's like a Bubba Spark slash Travis Scott slash Spitter. Mm. And I liked I, I ended up going through all his goddamn feeds. Like, you know when you fall into your TikTok hell and you yeah, just get caught up yeah. with all that. But uh, if you haven't yeah, heard, heard, I don't know if he's dropped it. He said he also has original music. I haven't had a chance to hear that yet, but okay. I am going to go check it out. His name is Blake Fades. Country dude getting it done. Like, and <laughs> the boy has balls. That's dope. <laughs> the boy has balls. That's dope. I definitely got to check that out. Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, and nasty news though. Hate to make a switch. Um, there's a former Olympic gymnast coach. His name was John Gaddard. Mm-hmm. Um, he committed suicide recently. And this was not too long after he was being charged on 24 separate counts, mm. of uh, which range from human trafficking to sexual assault to even lying to cops. Shit. Now, him being an Olympic gymnast, he was around a lot of females that probably were underage as, you know, Time went on, and he helped them and coached them through all these separate trials and, uh, you know, I guess competitions. But the fact that he killed himself Mm -hmm. doesn't make it look good. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I I never (laughs) promote suicide at all, (laughs) um, nor do I ever promote the easy way out. Right, right. uh, But 24 counts is some disgusting shit that you probably won't survive in jail for. I get it. Mm -hmm. Um, As sad as it sounds, um, he did it. Yeah, and, yeah, you know what I mean? Now there's no there's no one to speak for those voices. He'll never be able to apologize to those who's affected and hurt. So I just wish um, my condolences on his family, of course, because no one wants to lose a loved one at all, period. But uh, more so to the people that he's hurt over the years right. who didn't feel they had a voice, so they probably never said anything until now. But um, yeah, man, a uh, terrible, terrible story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and, you know, just staying on that somber note, uh, we want to say rest in peace to Vincent Jackson. Uh, oh, beast. man. Pro Bowl wide receiver. If you're a football fan, you knew you knew this gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a star receiver on the Chargers. Really, really made a real good name for himself on the Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Um, he was found in his hotel room unconscious. Uh, the cause of death is still undetermined as far as I last checked. And they are going to donate his brain to research for the CTE. CTE? Yeah, so uh, um, terrible. Was it a suicide or was it a murder? Yeah, they still they still, they're still determining the cause of death. Yeah, uh, I I don't want it to be either. But, right. Um, if it was a suicide and it is CTE related, they really got to start like Yo. finding a new way yeah. to prevent this from happening to players that play. Yeah, that's a very extreme contact sport known as football. Yeah, they got to find another way for them to get around us. Yeah, and, and the saddest part about the story is that the hotel staff cleaning staff they came in the first night and they saw him sitting there they just thought he was asleep but then when they came in the next day they saw him in the same spot you know what i mean and they were like all right something's up yeah so yeah um all right so then uh, you know more worse news we have marky d from the fat boys uh he passed away Like, I don't know how old he was, but he wasn't very old. Mm. But, um, you know, a pioneer nonetheless. And um, he put Fat Boys on the map with the rest of the group. Right, right. Um, there was in a, was that movie Crush Groove? Or, I don't know. I had to be like five. But um, <laughs> they had the movie Crush Groove out. And, you know, it was just cool to see rap highlighted by the person right. that doesn't look like they can do it. You know what I mean? And they all excelled at it. But, um, ugh. Shouts to Marky D and his family. Yeah, man. Condolences as well as ever, to everybody uh, that knew him, that grew up with him, that appreciated his, his craft and his music. Mm-hmm. Uh, condolences to Marky D, man. And um, hope everybody else in the Fat Boys is doing all right. Yeah. That's another heavy heart. Indeed. And then, of course, man, I mean, um, it's been a hell of a two weeks since we last met, man. Uh, Nicki Minaj's father. Robert yeah. passed away from a hit and run. Yeah, like I, I believe they found a gentleman that did it, but mm-hmm. nonetheless, like she just had her first child. Like, yeah, man. And now that child's grandfather's gone on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he wasn't doing anything other than crossing the street. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Condolences is to Nikki. Um, <laughs> hold your head. Um, it's yeah, just a man. very, very fragile time for her right now being a brand new mom like it's just something you yeah. you don't plan on having giving you know what I mean giving birth and then burying 
your, you know, your father yeah. months later, you know what I mean? So just hold your head naked. We're here for you, pray for you. Absolutely. Hopefully um, you could get through this a lot quicker than um, you should. Yeah. But uh, very unfortunate. Yeah, and I mean, this next one, man, I, I got to hit this one with the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, stop, it. wait a minute Oh, <laughs> keep it pushing keep this pushing. No, stop sign, I'm good on that yeah, Rush, Rush Limbaugh died, he was 70 <laughs> Fuck him, like I'm sorry Like uh, he, had, he never had good news for anybody Of my uh, creed or color So exactly. I, I just got nothing positive to say about him So like my mom told me when I was young I got nothing good to say, I'm not gonna say anything at all That's it, <laughs> that's it Alright, so this is our favorite area. Well, one of our favorite areas. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Appreciation time. You know what I'm saying? Appreciation purposes. And this one reflects on some, you know, some people that we lost but left a really big, big impact. impact. Big impact. You know what I mean? So number one, it's the one year anniversary of the passing of Pop Smoke. Um It's been a year already. It's it's ridiculous. Um the brother still is having an impact. There's actually a movie coming out called Boogie that yes, he's yes. going to be featuring in and you can you you just think about it imagine Rowdy coming home Bobby coming home and Pop is still here Ugh. that first track it's the energy on that <laughs> like it, it, Brooklyn would have blew up yo they would have had to shoot that and they shoot that right around fucking um, Barclays like that that video has to like can you imagine that happening and no COVID we're talking about on some Labor Day vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Barclays. Like Juve, whatever day they yeah. shot. Yeah. Straight up. Straight it would have looked like a movie in front of that fucking arena. They would have probably had to shoot it in the arena just to uh, fit everybody without stopping traffic. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, though, and then imagine them three going on tour, like calling it the, 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 the Flatbush Revival or the Brooklyn Revival. Oh, uh. my God. I would have been ah, I would have been a zoo every night, no matter what state they, what the city they dropped Yo, in. They would have been a zoo every day. That 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 would have been ridiculous. They could have called that shit Brooklyn Zoo. Yeah, they could. have. They could have called that shit Brooklyn Shasta Zoo. Shouts to Wu. Hell yeah. They definitely could have. Yo, that would have been, been dope. Been yeah, yeah. That would have been super dope. And you know we got to keep it Brooklyn. We got to keep it Brooklyn because, you know, in the eight days it will be. You know, remembering the loss of Biggie Smalls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. I, I, I guess I hate celebrating the death, you know yeah. what I mean? But um, it's the day, unfortunately, we remember more than the birthday. Yeah. So, um, but uh, uh, what's your favorite Biggie track, man? Ooh, I got to admit, my favorite Biggie track is Kicking the Door. Kicking the Door. I remember your older brother would play that track. <laughs> oh, yeah. shouts to Tony, man. Yeah, man. He, he loved that fucking song. <laughs> I think that's why I love it. He loved that and song. And you know how I realized that's my favorite Biggie track? There was one day I was riding in the car. And you know how sometimes, like, I, I don't remember which DJ it was, but they'll just play the instrumental mm. and then they'll get to the track eventually. Yeah. Bro, they played the instrumental for the whole first verse and I said it word. word for word, no mess ups, yep. no nothing. And then by the time they started the track over, I just sat there and I was like, wow. Like, I knew it, I knew it word for word. And just no hesitation, nothing. Just, we just knew it. That was Yo, awesome. and it was great because the person in the call with me was like, I, I'm guessing you like Biggie. <laughs> like, you're a fan. You're a fan of him. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that, that's my favorite. What's yours, man? Uh, I'm a, I, got a, I got a 1A, 1B. Okay. Uh, sky's the limit. Um, oh. that, because it, it touched on it touched on the heartstrings. You know what I mean? Mm. With, uh, with him passing around the same time that I actually released. Absolutely. And um, and give me the loot. Oh, give me the loot. Was just, <laughs> I might even have a one C with Brooklyn's finest, but oh. I'll give that to Jay for now. I keep I'll keep that on his resume. Just yeah, gets yeah, the, that's tough. He still gets to perform it. That's but, tough. But uh, yeah, it's between give me the loot and sky's the limit. Yep. Like um, two big tracks of his. But uh, I can't make a choice between those two if I have to. <laughs> nah, I feel you, man. Yeah, listen. So um, moving on, of course, uh, we remembered the passing, or we should say the the murder of Malcolm X mm. on you know on February twenty first, back in I believe it was nineteen either sixty four or, or nineteen sixty five. Yeah. Okay. So the interesting thing now is that there's some new information. Yeah, I seen that on the news a yeah. little bit. So it turns out Officer Raymond Wood, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer 
back in 2011 and started constructing a letter Mm -hmm. saying how the FBI coerced him into presenting false charges on Malcolm X's security detail Hmm. so he could remove them from the front of the Audubon ballroom so that those gentlemen can come in there and murder him. It was all all a setup. I'm telling you. So it was wild because he had his brother read the letter to everyone, but the stipulations were it could only be read when after he passed. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, um, it's one of those where I understand it, but I don't... I agree with it. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? Because... You got to learn to face your mistakes. You know what I mean? And uh, let me, <laughs> listen, cancer is the ultimate karma. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, Indeed. you know, for what happened. But there's, the family still doesn't get that actual accountability mm-hmm. for what happened to their dad. And I believe he still has a couple of daughters around right now and grandkids that, you know, would like some real justice. Like, who really wanted our father dead or our granddad dead so bad? Mm-hmm. So, but listen, you can't knock the brother's memory. Not Incredible, man. Incredible. Ugh. What else we got on the docket? Anything else? Uh... Oh, the last thing I'll leave y'all with. This is This is the kid in me coming out right Uh-oh. now. This goes back to... My days are running up in Blimpy, and Blimpies. there was two games in there that I love to play. It was Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Mm. I am a Mortal Kombat fan. Who's your? F- who took you to the mountaintop? Though? Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero? My guy. He wasn't a cheese, though, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> If you back me in the corner and it was my last quarter, so it was a wrap, fam. You got nothing but ice, brother. You got nothing but ice. It was like it was like with Street Fighter. Don't let me get Ryu or Ken. I got you in the corner with yeah. the leg sweeps yeah, all day. You ain't going nowhere, man. Yeah, but so Street uh, Mortal Kombat is coming out with a new movie in April. And when I tell you this trailer, this one looked dope. Oh my god. God, this one looked up. Like I saw it and I, I got excited, bro. <laughs> like I'm waiting for technology to catch up to some of the stuff that I want to see, and yeah. it's, it's there now. So <laughs> now that they're really accomplishing and getting it like executed the right way, like it it's so dope. crazy. Like I'm gonna say one scene because it's not a spoiler because it's in the trailer. Sub Zero is fighting Jax. Mm-hmm. And the way it goes down is Jax is trying to fight Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero freezes his fucking arms and then breaks, breaks him, him apart. Breaks and him that's off. how Jax gets those medals. Yo, that shit was so vicious was for a wild. trailer, yeah. fam. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have gave that in the trailer. I would have probably uh, held that one. <laughs> you know, you got to get people in. You got to suck people in. People that forgot about the story, maybe, you know, about uh, you had the... You have to pull on those harps for the old, the old fan of the game. You know? Right, right. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. When you said uh, it's out in April. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm putting that on the list. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully movies are at 25 percent capacity. Yeah. Speaking like to, of that, I, like I think the, in on March 5th next week, I think they start to open it at 25 percent capacity. All right. So all you can right. only imagine in April. If everything 50, stays good, be at fifty seventy five. Who knows, man? Who knows? Might be. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that movie. All my Mortal Kombat fans, make sure y'all reach out to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We we gotta support this, man. We gotta keep this rolling. We've been looking for this, man. It's been mm-hmm. a while. The last one. Oh my god, man! Like they taught, they 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 didn't do it right. Nah, <laughs> it they was, did it. Was, they, yeah, they jacked that up. They so, didn't. I don't know if they was rushing production or they didn't yeah. have the budget. But it just wasn't yeah. right. I mean, they tried, man. Like, Reptile was dope. The way that they came out with Reptile, that was really cool. True, true. Um, But, you know, Shang, uh, not Shang the Song, um, Shang Tsung, Khan. Shang. Having Khan. Khan or Kane? I think it was Khan. Okay. I think Kane is the WWE. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, gotta get, I gotta get my fictitious yeah, characters. it was Khan <laughs> and um, Goro. No, Goro. Goro was with Shane the Sun. Yeah, yeah, it was Khan. The four, the four, the four, uh, the forearm dude. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was young. Um, it was like early Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. You know, and you go through the. You have to go. Yeah, through the, yeah. Through the and Goro because at the top. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I remember I, I finally got to him and 
I paused the game. Like, I can't do it. I was sweating and shit. I was hyperventilating. Yep. I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to yeah. fight him yet. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? I finally him pause it and he whipped my ass. Like, he, he held me with his lower arms and his top arms. Oh, my, my God. When he got, yo, like, that oh, shit was vicious, shit. man. So let me go. Like, like yeah. why you make this game if I can't win? Yeah. Like, what's, what's the point? Yeah, after 49 <laughs> tries, I finally beat him. Though. Hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah, man. Good times. Good times. Indeed, indeed. Good times. So, listen, man. This is that part of the show, man, where, you know what I'm saying? You are now released back into your regularly scheduled programming. Corporate life, parental life, entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you do, we salute you. Mm -hmm. I'm Senor Lee. I'm Ken Katnick. See you next pay week when we lock back in to a free state of mind. Peace. Yeah.